Friday I'm back and in this video I'm going to talk about the pitfall of impatience and you already know um, that when you first start your hair journey whether you're transitioning or you're chopping your hair off and starting off fresh that patience there's no way around it no way around it patience is key when you are going natural or you're going gray it takes a lot longer than you think <laughs> and um, try not to compare also um, I find a theme within these videos um, how comparisons can you know like the quote says comparison is the thief of joy and enjoying this hair journey because there is a lot of trial and error and it takes time to know what works and what doesn't work um, what styles what products um, for your hair to grow. I used to get caught up in the whole length check thing, and not that that's a bad thing, but it would just frustrate me. Your hair can get longer, and you might find even more shrinkage than when it was shorter, and you'd be like, what's going on? And it will be so annoying is people ask me, did you cut your hair? And I know I didn't cut my hair. <laughs> um, sometimes it depends on the product I use. It'll be more shrinkage than usual, um, and we're gonna talk about that in another video also. And going gray, yeah, lots of patience with that too because you guys know with that, I, I did my second big chop. Like I'm looking at my hair now and I'm like, wow, the gray grew, really grew in. Um, and it, it took a little while, you know, first. And what's surprising with my grays is you see this, like I actually have a black hairline. I thought it would just be um, gray. So you just never know how your pattern will come in. You have to wait and see. It's a lot of waiting and seeing y'all there's no way around it it's key with a lot of things in life and don't think that you're gonna escape it just because it's a hair journey patience is necessary and um, again if you're impatient you get a little uh, bite of that bug it's okay it happens to us all we want it yesterday but um, also becoming a mom and seeing my son you know <laughs> looking back at pictures when he looked like he was almost bald to now being two and a half and um, seeing how his hair has grown we forget when we're adults, like it takes time for things to happen. You know, you might be really patient and think, okay, again, this kind of goes back to the envy situation. You might think, okay, I'm gonna be patient. And then like five years come along and maybe your hair still isn't as long as that person that you were like, oh, I'll be like her in a couple of years. Um, so you can't compare. Remember, you know, your hair is unique to you. And so is your experience with how long it gets, the shrinkage, all of that. You gotta be patient and then contentment is also something that can apply to the situation being content with where your hair is at because um, I know when I first went natural and it was big chop TWA then there's that in-between stage that's also another pitfall we could talk about on another video but be patient and again you start this journey off not knowing a lot but you come away like for me for seven years down I am a lot more patient than I was in the beginning um, with my hair. It helped the first time I big chopped. It was very, the anxiety of, is my hair gonna grow? I can't wait to do a puff and all of that stuff. Um, to now, the second time around, not saying I didn't have my moments, but I'm a lot more patient because I'm like, it's gonna take time. So be patient with yourself, be patient with your hair. You got this.